what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I wasn't ready for this one. Light heavyweight boxing champion Andre Ward just announced his retirement. Dude is 33 years old, 32 wins, 16 by knockout, just won a big fight in June, got the world in the palm of his hands, and he walk away from the sport he loves. This is what he said on his website in a statement titled, Mission Accomplished. I want to be clear, I am leaving because my body can no longer put up with the rigors of the sport and therefore my desire to fight is no longer there. If I cannot give my family, my team and my fans everything that I have, then I should no longer be fighting. You got that right. So I guess I do understand. He's saying that, man, I ain't got the passion anymore because my body can't keep up with the workout. He also said, to the sport of boxing, I love you. You've been by my side since I was 10 years old. You've taught me so much. You've humbled me. You've promoted me. I've sacrificed a lot for you. But you've given me more than I ever thought possible. You gave me a platform made me a champion and helped me provide for my family. I am forever grateful to you. You and I will always be synonymous, connected at the hip. Thank you for all the wonderful people I've come in contact with because of you. I've made friends for life. As I walk away from the sport of boxing today, I leave at the top of your glorious mountain, which was always my vision and my dream. I did it. We did it. From the bottom of my heart, thank you to everyone who has played a part in my journey. You know who you are. I could not have done this without you. Above all, I give glory to God for allowing me to do what I've done for as long as I have. Man, that threw me off. I'll just say this, man, right off the rip. Dude, is an honorable dude. I remember from the first time I met him in Miami. We were out there for the Source Awards. And dude was just a real down-to-earth cat. He didn't have a big old entourage. He seemed like the type of cat that was real comfortable in his skin and even though that was my first time meeting him, I'm a pretty good judge of character. I can, I can measure people pretty good. And I can say I was impressed. Now, let's, let's look at this. As a former boxer, I can tell you this. Walking away from the game of boxing is very, very hard to do. If you look at all of the fighters throughout the years, all of the champions, the Hall of Famers, and he will be a Hall of Famer. Most of them couldn't just walk away. When they left the game, they was forced out of the game with debilitating injuries. I remember seeing Iran Barkley once at the, what was it, Madison Square Garden in New York. And I spoke to him. He had his back turned to me. And I swear to God, it took him about 10 seconds to completely turn around. He was like, oh, what's up, Willie D? Some people say, why would anybody want to be a boxer anyway? Why would you put your body through that type of pain? 
I don't know, man. All I can say is that it's a beautiful sport. It's nothing like walking into that ring about to do battle. And it's just you and your opponent. And the people around, they're cheering, they're booing, they're doing whatever. But whatever they're doing, they can't save you. And the thing is, is that there's always, even though it's a sport, you know in the back of your mind that there's a possibility that you could die. This makes you fight even harder. Yeah, beautiful sport. That's why I think at 33 years old, he has more in the tank. And I think that the offers are going to come for him to fight again. I think a mega fight is in the making. I think it's going to be hard to turn that down. Personally, I would have liked to see him fight a few more big fights to solidify his legacy. I don't think that Andre Ward name is where it should be in terms of great champions. I think that he has fought everybody that's been put in front of him. It's not his fault that he's cleared out the division. It's not his fault that he's, he's come along in this era. You know, imagine that had he came along when Roy Jones was still fighting light heavyweight. That would have been something to see. But that's not his fault. I mean, he took care of everybody that they put in front of him. Andre Wood was a master in the ring. He never ducked anyone. He carried himself with class. He represented himself, his family, and the sport of boxing with honor. Now he gets to retire with a cake job as an analyst. He has all of his faculties. He's undefeated. And he got a boatload of money. That's how you do it. No more talk. What, what the ladies talking about? Yeah. Order, Texas.